Thank you for coming to the Jet Aircraft Museum. And we're here specifically in this place because we are uh, unveiling our Ukrainian MiG-29. Last night was Stand with Ukraine Vigil, and that happened all across Canada. And our first guest today was uh, at and the leader of the Toronto, Toronto Mega March. I'd like to introduce to you Council General Alexander Shevchenko. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, good afternoon to everybody. I'm very, very glad to be here and happy to, to see all of you and our friends from, from Ukrainian community here. Law enforcement agencies in Ukraine, they have registered damage and destruction of almost 80,000 civilian infrastructure facilities, including 59,000 residential buildings and houses, more than 2,000 educational and 436 medical institutions, 320 cultural and 89 religious buildings, almost 4,000 water and electricity network, 1,270 sites of cultural heritage and cultural infrastructure in Ukraine. 470 of them were completely destroyed. So this this shows clearly what, what Russia stands for. It stands for brutality, it stands for, stands for destruction, it st stands for deaths among civilians. In addition, I should say that almost 16,000 Ukrainian children were deported by the Russian troops from the occupied territories through filtration camps. And the Russian occupation authorities continues forceful relocations of Ukrainian citizens to Russia regions including those in East, in Far East and Siberia. It's very difficult, it's, it's very hard, but there is also a hope, you know, a hope that, that we will overcome this, that, uh, that Russians who plan to take over Kyiv, to take over Ukraine in three days, you know, there is one year of, of fighting, one year of, one year of, of really really fuels struggle and great thanks to our armed forces, to men and women on the front lines, you know, in and in the rear, for their for their strength, for their courage, for their, for their resilience. We enjoy a very strong and powerful support of democratic world, well, including Canada for what I think thank yesterday Prime Minister. Yes, and uh, our our military you know they are operating now a new a more sophisticated high tech military weapon system, you know, and and uh, aircraft and tanks and so on. So it it gives us confidence you know, and it gives us strength that we will win that aggressor will be pushed out of Ukraine behind the borders of Ukraine of 1991 and the independence and the sovereignty of Ukraine will be restored again. Uh, I would like to thank, to thank all of you again, to thank all Canadians who, who support Ukraine in this time of ordeal and uh, we rely very much on your further assistance uh, and, and support. I would like to thank you very much. The most predominant theme is one of devastation and destruction. But the other theme was also hope. And that's what we want to concentrate on. And one of the things we can do to foster that hope is some of the fundraising that we're going to be doing. But in a second here, I'd like the Council General to participate in a traditional Ukrainian ceremony of candle lighting. And that candle lighting is all about uh, remembrance of what's gone on and the devastation and the deaths, but it's also about hope. So I'd ask the Council General and Daria, who is the president of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress in London, 
and Volodymyr, who is the president of the London Ukrainian Center. If the three of you would come forward and light these candles here to, to my right.